Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome to the second of our two games, Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star, which is the sequel ish of sorts to Hotful Boyfriend, which I just finished. I absolutely had to come here and play this after finishing Hotful Boyfriend because it was amazing. And as far as I can tell, um, well, what people have explained to me is that this actually takes place with the same characters but in an alternate timeline, so that sounds really interesting. Now, this is actually my second time trying to record this. Because the first time, the music was blaring and I was trying for the life of me to figure out how to access the menu. Which is escape, by the way. And also, um, when I put in my name, I think I put it in backwards. I think they asked for my last name first and then my first name. And I did it the other way around, so it was just a mess. So, let's try and do it properly this time. Start a new game. Look at this! I have no idea. There's like four stories, I guess. So let's start with the first one. The Christmas Thieves Attack! A brutal team of thieves here to steal the city's beloved Christmas trees. We thought they were just an urban legend. Until now. They're after the tree. And that rhymes with T, which stands for trouble, right here in Little Dove Hachiman City. Christmas trees disappearing. A dark shadow, wriggling just out of sight. Can our faithful heroes from St. Pidgeo Nations put an end to this mystery before it puts an end to them? Please enter your name. Okay. So, I should put in Chan first, I think. And then Kawaii. Oh, it's good to hear that sound again. Is Kawaii Chan okay? You tell me, in this timeline, has she still got, like, her head and everything? Yes. Hopefully this works out properly. Rabu! Hey, Ryota, what time you got? Um... It's almost six. You're not running late, are you? It's already dark out. Tell me about it. We were all talking about the nice autumn leaves and all just a few days back. And now I'm darned if it ain't winter. Ah, Kenzaburu, you're here again. So happy to see you. Christmas even is just a few days away. Swift indeed is the passage of time. Well, I'd better be heading back. A zombie will be getting out of work soon. Oh, are you and a zombie a thing in this timeline? Hooray! Be careful, Mr. Rabu. There are all kinds of hooligans out and about at this time of night. No sweat. Worst comes to worst, I can count on a zombie to save me. Are you sure you're not relying on her a little too much? We put up our Christmas tree today. Please have a look at it as you leave. You did? I never saw it on my way in. I'll have to get a real good look at it to make up. Music's still way too loud. Okay. It's okay, music. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Alright, that ought to do it. Mr. Rishihara and I put a lot of time into decorating it. I hope you like it. You bet I will. See you all around. December certainly does feel like the end of the year. I wonder how much busier we'll be at this time next year. I just realized uh, Ryota did end up getting that job with Mr. Kenzaburu. You are a sophomore, correct? Have you been thinking about your plans for after graduation already? No, not really. I just want to make sure I can take care of my mother. Okay, so your mom's still alive in this route too, okay. Worries are an important part of youth as well. And sometimes problems will simply disappear as you try to solve them. You never know. Um, Mr. Rishihara, could I ask you for some advice? I've had a lot on my mind. But of course, I am more than happy to provide whatever assistance I- Angel? Uh, that came from out front. I believe it did. Let us go see what has happened. Oh, 
Oh, new background. I guess this is from Ryota's point of view, right now. It's pitch dark outside. It's hard to see anything, even with the light from the cafe door. What on earth? Oh. <gasps> no, Rabu! He's calling for help! Already? A Lutino Badrigar is collapsed on the sidewalk. That's probably not how you pronounce that. Mr. Rabu, are you alright? Have you been injured? Uh, oh. I let my guard down. They got me from behind. They got you? Do you need an ambulance? It must have been somebody settling a grudge from your biker gang days. No, no, that's not it. They're... The legendary Christmas thieves come to our town! <gasps> Chan! The legendary Christmas thieves? What's that? A new TV show? No, no, they're real. They're out in the streets right now, spreading misery and destruction. They've been coming up on the news a lot, too. Haven't you seen the headlines? The Christmas thieves invade Little Dove Hachiman City at last. Hmm. No, this is the first I've heard of them. I think. Forget the thieves. This is the first time I've heard the name of this town. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I was thinking that, too. I'm like, oh, we actually have the name of the town that we live in now. This is great. I guess it just never comes up in conversation or anything. I, I see what you did there. Very clever. The more you know. Do they show up every year at this time? I don't remember hearing about them last year. This is the first time they've come here. I don't know too much either, but apparently they move around each year. Okay. The music is still like, way too loud. I'm gonna assume this is still Kauai. I worked at Mr. Rishihara's shop, Chirimi Cafe, during the summer. The job was only until August, but apparently he decided he could use help for December as well. The wilderness gets very cold this time of year, making it dangerous to come home late, so I left it to Ryota this time. That, and I need time to study. Sheesh. And it sounds like Chirimi Cafe is the mysterious thieves' latest victim. This smacks of drama. Drama, excitement, and adventure. <gasps> OBJECTION! What, what was that for? Just getting the feel for it. There's been an incident, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to make sure my finger-pointing ace attorney skills are sufficiently dramatic for when I need to use it. Uh, please don't go around pointing and shouting at stuff. You'll give me a heart attack. Tell me, who's the victim? And the suspect. The victim is Mr. Rabu. He was attacked from behind while texting a picture of Mr. Rishihara's Christmas tree to a zombie. And when we found him, the tree was gone. Hold on! Wh 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 what was that for? What do you mean the tree was gone? Please don't shout everything. You can just ask. Sorry, I got excited. Tea! Jeez. Well, stealing the tree definitely implicates the Christmas thieves. They must be wandering the town stealing any trees they see. It's... it's horrible. Mr. Rishihara and I worked really hard to decorate that tree, too. And now all the customers who are looking forward to seeing it will be disappointed. I hope it wasn't Angel who was stealing the trees. Because they have demon spaws or something. Monstrous! How could they steal Mr. Rishihara's incredibly classy hand-decorated tree? Let's look for the thieves. Christmas is at the weekend. They must still be in town. Hmm, I wonder. They probably are still prowling around here looking for trees. Yes. I want to get Mr. Rishihara's tree back anyway. Let's find them, Chan. We can start today! You two are awfully loud today. Can you not grant the rest of us a little peace and quiet? 
Also, I just realized my name is actually not quite right. It should say Kawaii there. Shouldn't it? Yeah. Let me talk to Sakia. If it says Sakia, then I know that my name has been misspelled again. Darn, I thought I had it figured out. Oh, Sakia, listen. They've appeared. The white demons stand poised to shatter the silence of that most holy night. You can't just go around giving things nicknames like a certain someone next door, Chan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let us... I'll save her just in case. But... Let's fix this real quick. Nope, not that. Let's speed through. Okay. I guess I had it right the first time. Okay, let's do that. Now we will skip ahead. Ah, <sighs> what a disaster this has been, but we will get through this as quickly as we can. Okay, we'll wait till Sakia comes back. There's the Angel noise, but hopefully not Angel. That wouldn't be good. Okay, so now we have Kawaii's name back. Objection! Hold on! And then, of course, Sakia. Of course I can give around nicknames. I am Edel Blau. Christmas trees are being stolen all around town, Sakia. Maybe you've already heard. Ah, you must be referring to that drivel the local rag devoted an entire page to. Disgusting. Is there not more important news to be run now of all seasons? How telling it is that so much attention is devoted to such foolishness. You don't like Christmas, Sakuya? What? From where do you think I hail, plebeian? France. Right? Oh, of course. Christmas probably means a lot more to you than to us Japanese people. Oh my. The council room is already decorated with the most fabulous tree. A labelle overlooks nothing. I take it in this world he doesn't know that his brother, his full brother is Yui and he's not really a labelle? Hmm. Or did that even happen, I wonder? I have even deigned to place it near the window so that the masses may gaze up at it in awe and wonder. Be grateful. He who does not celebrate Christmas is no true bird. That is the importance Christmas holds for us. In other words, Sakia gets extra jolly this time of year. Better take notes! Trees are being stolen from in front of shops and on the sidewalk and other easily visible places. So you should probably be careful too, Sakuya. Don't let it get stolen. Hmph. <laughs> Do not place me on the same level as you Orientals with your infantile understanding of private security. Did I not say I overlook nothing? Ah, oh, Sakuya. I know not who this villain may be, but he shall step not one centimeter within my territory. The council room's security is flawless, I tell you. Flawless! Sakuya... We call that sort of line a flag here in Japan. Let's start our investigation by asking people around town, Ryota. Good idea. Let us know if you hear anything new or get robbed, Sakia. How many times must I tell you? My tree will not be stolen. Okay, Sakia. Oh! Upon leaving the building, Ryota and I are greeted by the sight of Okosan prancing about on the track. Prancing, or maybe skipping? I'm not sure. At any rate, he appears to be in pointlessly high spirits. You're in a good mood today, son. 
Did something good happen? Oh, it's Christmas! Christmas is almost here! What? Another Christmas fiend? Is there something about Christmas that wakes the ancestral jollity inside a dove's heart? Cool, cool! Everything is sparkly on Christmas. Oko-san is excited. Cool, cool! And everything smells like delicious food. Oko-san is very excited. Western pastry shops always look so tempting this time of year. You spend a lot of time in department stores, right, son? Have you heard anything about the Christmas thieves? Cool. Who? Villains out to steal Okasan's delicious grub? Villains out to steal pretty Christmas trees. Cool, cool! Christmas trees? Yes, Okasan knows about them. Cool! The trees at Okasan's favorite High Society Seagull Department store disappeared. High Society Seagull Department store? Do you know where that is, Ryota? Yeah, I've worked at the sample stable there. I'll show you the way. Here we come, High Society Seagull Department Store! Say that five times fast. Ah, So cute! Ooh! Hmm. Department stores always feel a little unrealistic. A little decadent, maybe. It makes it so hard to go in. They're okay, really. Just don't think about that and it'll be fine. I'm like... I didn't say that out loud, right? He read my mind? Ryota, we need to talk about this, though. More importantly, we need to ask a clerk about the thefts. But... Right, right. Um, excuse me. Yes, may I help you? Huh. Do you know where you are, young lady? Um... This is the High Society Seagull Department Store, right? That is correct. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Say it once more. The High Society Seagull Department Store. Good. This store is of High Society, by High Society, and for High Society. It is no place for obviously low society humans. Please leave. I object! This is blatant speciesism. I hope you're ready to swallow your words or defend them with steel, cretin. Draw, man, draw, before I stick you like a rotisserie chicken. Calm down, Kawaii. Getting into a fight here won't do us any good. Please don't act like Son. And just what does Okosan have that makes him so much more high society than me? It's a good point. Please, we just want to ask you a question. We'll leave right away. Did the Christmas thieves really break into the store? They did not break into the store, no. They were not allowed in. However, as you know, the store faces onto the street. The three Christmas trees we had arranged outside were stolen. Trees placed outside? Just like a Tarimi cafe. Yeah. It looks like they really are aiming for easy targets first. They seem to be quite crafty. I think this might get difficult, Ryota. Ah, I can feel the thrill of the chase. My hunter-gatherer blood boils! Right on time. I knew it was a good idea to ask you along. The stolen trees were of little value. We have already sent away for new ones. Do you think you could wait a little before setting them up? The thieves might come back. True, but Christmas is almost here. If not now, when would we put them out? Christmas trees are just so much rubbish once it's the 26th. They're not rubbish. You can use them every year. Um, were there any witnesses? The trees were in a blind spot between security cameras, so alas, we had nothing. Too busy staring down your own noses to look out the window, were you? Our own beaks, in this case. I hope I never see you here again, young lady. 
Well, that was a disappointment. About all we found out is that the thieves aim for trees placed in vulnerable spots outside. Maybe we should leave. Oh, you didn't give me a chance to save. Can I save? Nope. <sighs> leave the store. Stop by the furniture section or stop by the clothing section. Hmm. You know what? I'm not quite ready to leave. Let's see what furniture you have here. I'd like to know, like, what the size difference is between... Of course, they might just cater to birds in here, but whatever. I mean, everything looks human-sized. Wow, what a bed! I'm not sure this would even fit inside my house. Just what kind of mansions does the high society live in? There are humidifiers, hot water bottles, and other thermal frivolities lined up nearby. Winter goods are awfully fancy. Maybe I should indulge in something. A bonfire alone just doesn't say decadent. Hey, Kawaii. Look over there. <gasps> a disturbingly familiar quail is fast asleep on a display bed. Nanaki! Or Tori, I guess I should say. Sir, you can't just crash in a department store. You're a grown-up now. You need to take care of yourself. Ah, uh, Kazuaki. Ah. Oh. oh, if it isn't Chan. And Kawara. What is it? Did you want to talk about career plans? Um, not exactly, sir. Are you fully awake, sir? We're not at school. Oh? Good heavens, so we aren't. You might have been here until closing time if we hadn't happened by. Oh, yes. It's been so cold recently, I was thinking maybe I should buy a new bed. It does get very chilly after dark. Make sure not to catch cold, you two. This makes me think that the birds are human-sized at this point. If they're too big to fit in Kawaii's cave, after all. Mr. Nanaki crawls out of the bed and wobbles off towards a table covered in wool blankets of various dimensions. Blankets. I bet my Casio Mini he'll fall asleep on that too. There's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. Alright, where to next? The thefts have gotten onto the news. If we ask around, we should find some eyewitnesses. Sounds good. Uh. What? Huh? Some glass object splinters with a monumental... Some glass object splinters? Chatters with a monumental crash behind us as we make for the exit. I turn around and... <gasps> you guys move! And you're cute! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! What are those? They look... a little like doves, but not really. Are they... maybe they are doves? In any case, a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What are those? Are they doves? Um... I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like them. They move. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, they're the ones making the noise. The creatures frolic through the Christmas display like fuzzy wrecking balls, leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. Oh my. Now, the white children. Oh dear, that's no good. You two. Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take it to the employees' lounge. High society does have rules. Merry Christmas. The creatures trail de 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 dejectedly after the security guard. What were those? I can't believe people let their kids run loose like that. I'd love to see the parents' faces when they get billed. I guess Christmas gets everyone pretty excited. Sort of like demons which rampage during the full moon. 
Ryota and I spent some time asking around town, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. What's a bet those two? <laughs> those two are the thieves. They keep saying, Merry Christmas! Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but from inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits looked like. Hmm. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for our introduction to Holiday Star World. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's bizarre as all get out, which is what I wanted. <laughs> But I'm sure we're going to get all feelsy at some point, so prepare for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I shall see you in the next video. Until then, I'll see you later.